Hello everybody, my name is Silver Scale and welcome back to Let's Play More Sam and Max of the World. Now this is uh, the fifth episode of the season one. It's called Reality 2.0. The name Reality is more like VR virtual reality, but in a different version. And I gotta tell you, being in a virtual reality series is the best one. Reality to by door. Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. It's Criticism a good thing I'm not the president of the United States. That's the not the way I'll be acting. Secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Please. Quiet, Max. It's the Commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. Look at him. He has a presentable tall carpet. No, it's a rug, a rug. I can't tell which one is a carpet or a rug. He got a president of the United States rug on their office. It's a good thing I'm not Max because that's not the way I'm gonna talk like president like he just uh, said a few moments ago. The little rat's not home. Anybody home? Hey Jimmy Tooties, it's your cousin, Tony Rat. Guess not. Lincoln's head, still at large. Lincoln's head, still at large. Huh. Even if he was just a puppet match, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pipe. Hungry Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. The flow behind Brady Culture's unfashionable hypnosis plot. The teddy bear that terrorized a TV station. Bye bye, Leonard Stick Charming. Hope you enjoyed our Stick Charming day. Dero, dero, dero. And I still have this bug. I doubt that would yield useful information. I wonder if I could use it on tied up my old stuck channel here. Hmm. Nah, Leonard's been oddly laconic lately. Ah, uh, so he gets all uh, sad. Whee! Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend Watchman Fuck. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? 
Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight-or-flight response. I am El Pasco Drill, the unhinged, mighty half-elf ranger! Boy, is he an elf ranger. How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack. Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Hawk elf! And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business to the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. What does this internet do, Hickey, have to do with being an elf? Oh, elf! It's cause everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar. Like a dwarf, or an orc, or a hot young 15-year-old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf, fool! Ah, <laughs> never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, see you there. You want to buy something? You want to buy something? I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Do you have any pictures of Weird Al? Do you have any dual core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Do you have any teddy bears? Do you have any chimpanzee sized diapers? Nay! Do you have any king hippos? Do you have any barbecue plankton chips? Nay! Do you have any Napoleon ice creams? Do you have any keychains with a plus eight modifier to dexterity? I wish. Yeah, you wish. Do you have any conquering images of a blue elf who can throw ice? Do you have any self-respect? Nay! <laughs> uh -huh, trick you! No, I understood the question. I understood it all too well. You sure do know how to suck the fun out of everything, Bosco. Do you have any Sasperitas? Do you have any Lombos? He's stale! Do you have any trash cans? Do you have any dual core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Do you have any... Nah, I said it. What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right! Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam! But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer's gonna open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. Alright, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars! We'll take it! Well, what's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry, for safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. We'd like a big heaping mess of virulent biological weapon, please. My bank account still seems to be a billion dollars short. Oh yeah, how do we make an online payment again? Well, for one, you gotta be online. Call me when you get on the internet. Well, I'll see you later, Roscoe. On second thought, nothing for us now. As thy wish! But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself! See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Sire! <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, man! You sound like Skyrim! Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged brat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. 
I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared out of my wits. You just gonna buy something or what? What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys would. I sell it to you and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. Freelance police, Mr. Teeth. You're under arrest. Come along quietly and we'll only use excessive force instead of instead of medieval. Just try it, pigs. Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. Enough games, Jimmy. You're under arrest. I know my rights. New federal mandate for armament appropriation. And I quote, No citizen shall be prevented from setting up shop without a license and in someone else's store to sell dangerous weapons indiscriminately to the highest bidder. Who in his right mind would pass such an irresponsible law? I couldn't help it, Sam. That gun lobby has these unbelievable gift baskets. You're still under arrest, Jimmy. No chance. Shouldn't ought to argue with the guy with the candy. What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my pants. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Get bored lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out D.C.'s a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. Are you still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist view. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of it's not too late to make an honest rat out of yourself, Jimmy. Or a bookend, or a doorstop. People want weapons, I sell them weapons. What could be more honest? Sell us the cannon, Jimmy. I already told you, it's not for sale. See you later, Jimmy. Maybe, if you can find me. Hey, hands off the merchandise, pig. Um. I'm stuck! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Well, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs>